Yeah, they can know that. I'm sorry. Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Good evening, good evening teacher. teacher. Are you guys doing okay? Hi, uh -huh, you good were evening. missing. What happened with the teacher? You said, right? <laughs> you know what, teacher? All right. Okay, Juan, thanks for letting me know. Mm -hmm. Ya se estaban preguntando, ¿verdad? Hey, la teacher, ¿qué pasó? I was having some problems and when I was trying to um, join the video conference. So um, I had to do a lot of... Uh, we said free, free class. Of trying, uh, I'm sorry? We said free class. Ah, day off, yay. <laughs> All right, but no, remember that you have to prepare the presentation tonight here in the class, okay? It will be a group activity, remember? Por ahí les envié lo que vamos a trabajar el día de hoy, ¿verdad? El día de hoy vamos a preparar esa um, um, presentación, ¿verdad? Para el día de mañana. Two minutes presentation, it's not that long, right? But we want to practice all the vocabulary that we have been learning, all right? Vamos a practicar el vocabulario que hemos estado aprendiendo. So just allow me to uh, put this in order again. All right, here we go. Uh, first of all, I want to take the attendance. So please, everybody, remember the requirements. You have to turn your cameras on and you have to say present, all right? Ready? Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present. Eh, Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Ok. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Ok. Elenilson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Ok. Eric Jose Hernandez Campos. Present teacher. There you are. We miss you, Eric. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present. Hi, Hazel. Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. Well, he's on his way. Yeah. So, okay. Here I am, teacher. All right, I'm good. Here. All right. Hernan Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Good. good Javier evening. Antonio Cortez good. Martinez. Good evening. Uh, Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present teacher. Okay, Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Karen, no Karen yet. All right, Magdiel Saúl García Morales. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Magdiel. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Not yet. All right, Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. All right. Good, Ricardo, welcome. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present. Hello, Rosa. How are you tonight? Fine, um, okay, Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Present teacher. Nice, Santos. Welcome. Yeah. Wilber, Thank you. Okay, Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Hello, Wilber. Jose Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Here, present teacher. Good, Abel. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. There you are. Good. Okay, people, we're gonna start a class by um, talking about the last class. Do you remember the imperatives? 
What are they for? When do we use the imperatives? When do we use imperatives? Mm -hmm. When we give an invitation. All right. Mm -hmm. When we want to um, make an invitation, right? Okay. There you are. Mm -hmm. I think that suggestions. Um, okay, suggestions could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, suggestions and a way of advice, right? Telling someone to do something because you think that's right. Okay, yeah, okay, good. So uh, the imperatives are used to provide with instructions in a process. For example, if we are talking about manufacturing, we could um, mark the steps, okay? And giving that instruction using uh, the imperative, right? Imperative sentences. And let's remember that an imperative sentence could be also negative, okay? También una oración imperativa puede ser negativa. Okay? So, for example, a ver, por acá teníamos unos ejemplos. So, let's remember about them. <clears throat> and they have different functions, right? These sentences have different functions. So, mm, and this list of sentences, we have some of them that are mm, affirmative, right? And also negative, you see? For example, when you forbid someone about doing something, then you use don't, all right? Don't. No vamos a usar tercera persona porque el sujeto tácito de una oración imperativa es you. Okay, it's you because you are giving that instruction to that person. Even though you were doing this in general, right? Uh, you are saying you on, in plural or in singular, right? It doesn't matter if it is in plural or singular. You, ustedes, or you too, right? So we use don't, right? We use don't when we list the instructions, remember? All right. Vamos entonces a ver en el chat, regálenme algunas, digamos, tres, tres oraciones imperativas o instrucciones que me digan no hacer algo en mi trabajo, ¿ok? Negative, right? <laughs> you see my hair right here. <laughs> uh, ok. A ver, en el chat, veamos. Pongamos por ahí. A ver, Blanca, escríbanos en el chat three um, instructions or orders or advice or uh, suggestions, right? Uh, commands, but negative. Don't use the phone while you are giving class. All right, good, good. All right. Now, Santos, siga escribiendo nosotras dos, Blanca, ¿ok? Vamos, Santos. Es para poder visualizarlos, porque cuando lo hacemos todos, sí, se me van corriendo. Entonces, vamos a ir one by one. Santos, can you write a negative instruction? An, an instruction that is given in a negative sentence. Okay. All right, ahí en el chat. Okay, we were, we were waiting for Santos. Todos pensando sus oraciones, right? Good, Blanca, don't eat when you talk to someone, all right? Talk to, talk to someone. Good, don't downloading uh, big files. 
Ahí sería don't download, ¿ok? Sin el ing. Porque es un imperativo, entonces usamos... Forma el, base. Ah, exactamente. El okay. infinitive or the base form. Don't okay, eat teacher. in the office, ¿ok? Don't call in the office or personal calls, right? Because from personal our, calls, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. don't make personal calls. All right, very good, Jose Abel. Santos, we're still waiting. A ver, Ellen Nilsson. Things that are, are forbidden or prohibited, right? Good, don't burn trash. Good, that's a very good one. And that's for- What means burn? Burn es quemar. Mm -hmm. Don't get late. Very good, Ellen Nilsson. Uh, don't use that car. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Continue, Rafael, please. Uh, Rafael, both Rafael. Ahí van a caer los de los dos. Vamos a ver. No está el otro Rafael, ¿verdad? El otro Rafael. I'm sorry. Just me, teacher. Just you. All right. Go mm -hmm. ahead, please. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't run. All right. Example. Good. Mm -hmm. So you may write it on the chat. Type it yeah. in, please. Don't run. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't run. Yeah, because maybe you can slip, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> Don't go to make a flight plan. Don't go to make a flight plan. All right. Like plan de vuelo, right? Good. But yes. flight. Flight plan. Mm -hmm. Si ¿Sí, plan de vuelo? Si. Sí. All right. Yeah. All right. Flight es vuelo de un avión, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, there are other things that fly, like the drones, right? Yeah. Don't yeah. smoke. Don't smoke. Very good. Don't smoke in this area, right? Very good. Uh -huh. A ver, eh, Magdiel. Hello, teacher. Hello, Magdiel. <clears throat> Please write uh, imperatives. It could be instructions, commands, advice. It could be any kind or not invitations, right? In this case, <laughs> don't come. <laughs> it will be not an invitation. Okay. Uh, write, please, examples on the chat. Oh, okay, ahorita. Okay, También Hazel, vamos a ver Hazel. You can share on the chat uh, three examples of negative imperative sentence. Don't stall, stolen. Don't study? Stolen. Oh, don't stall, steal sería, steal. steal. Mm -hmm. Stolen decía steal. Stolen es el participio. Pasado, ¿verdad? El, pasado, pero el, ajá, el stole es el pasado. Stolen es el pasado participio. Okay. okay. Don't eat in the office. Very good. Mm -hmm. Don't be unpolite. Very good. 
Mm -hmm. and don arms. When call phone. Ah, when make a call. Uh, I mean, when you are on the phone with a customer. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Esa palabra, Wilbert, it's good. I'm polite, but you can say am polite, right? I am. I am P O L I T E. Okay. Thank you. All right. And polite. Done. Mm, push the button. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be with the letter U if I don't remember wrong. Don't speak loud. Good. Mostly when you are in a place like a hospital, right? Or a place where you need silence, right? For example, in a cold center. You need to uh, minimize the background, right? Okay. The background noises. Okay, good, guys. ¿Alguien más quiere ponerlo? Rosa, ¿quiere ponerme usted ahí? Your examples, do you want? Okay. Okay, go ahead, please. Oh, good, Pedro. Don't smoke while driving. Good. Very good, Rosa. Don't be late to work. Mm -hmm. Don't use has a flaw, like a mistake. Uh, don't. Hmm, I don't find the logic over there okay don't use that printer right because it has because it has a flaw Is that correct yes lo, teacher sorry mm -hmm. eh, yo lo hice pero no lo pude enviar pero hice don't eat when working okay don't eat, eat. when working very good that's good. That's correct. Do you have another one? A ver, Andrea, please share an, an example. Three examples the most. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one with Carlos Ernesto, very good. Don't pass wet floor. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Andrea, we are waiting for you. Claudia Yamilet, also please share your examples. Good. Do not speak during the exam. All right. Good. Good. Do not speak during the exam. Yeah. What happened is our exam. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. No copies, right? Hello, Andrea. Sí, ahorita las estoy escribiendo. Ok, ok. A ver, um, thank you, Claudia. Vamos a ver, nos queda por aquí, estaba, no sé si Juan Francisco quiere enviar los suyos. Yes, don't speak in class, so keep silence, right? Good. Don't speak Spanish on the English class. Very good. A ver, tell your classmates. Tell your classmates. Turn off the TV. Very good. Very good. Y en negativo, ¿cómo sería? Don't, right? Don't turn off the TV because you want to watch more. You want to... Oh, that's a good one. Stand up, right? And 
There are, for example, it's forbidden that you stay standing in, on a plane, for example, don't stand up for a period of time, right? Also on a truck, right? Yeah, you may say don't stand up. Good. Mm -hmm. What else? Okay. Creo que sí a todos dimos nuestro ejemplo, ¿verdad? Hernán nos regaló ejemplo. Vamos a ver, Hernán. Good. Jokes are not allowed during working hours. Very good. Esa es otra manera también de expresar una, una instrucción. Sin embargo, esta no es una imperativa, ¿ok? Esta no es una imperativa, aunque es una forma de dar una instrucción, ¿ok? Es una oración, un, un affirmative statement con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Jokes are not, right? Allowed. Bueno, es una voz pasiva, ¿ok? Esta es una voz pasiva. Are not allowed during working hours. Vamos a ver, it is not allowed to lend money between colleagues. Yay, because it generates a lot of problems, right? A lot of problems come with that. Mm. Very good, Hernán. Y qué bueno, porque así vemos otra manera de dar una instrucción, ¿ok? No solo con imperativas, sino que eh, redactándola, ¿verdad? Okay, it's another way to write up uh, an instruction. Don't leave your toys on the floor. All right, yay, yay. So this is the way to give instructions, to say or to tell someone to do something or to tell someone stop doing something or to tell someone don't do something, right? Or in that case, when you are forbidding something, you use don't, right? Don't. Okay. Pero también, cuando nosotros queremos dar una opinión acerca de algo que está bien o que está mal, existen otras maneras. We could use another ways, right? El día de hoy, tonight, we are going to start with the new topic in this unit. So everybody please ready over there. And this is, here we are. This is your video conference number four. Today is the 26th of September, right? September the 26th. And the topic in this unit, manufacturing unit one, for tonight is how to use should. How to use should. Should is a modal verb, right? Should is a modal verb. Es un verbo modal. It's a modal verb. It's a helping verb, right? helps us to express things that we think are right or wrong, okay? And this is to give advice, mostly, okay? Mostly is to give advice, even though it is to give some opinions or to correct a behavior that is not correct in the workplace, for example, or at home with friends, right? So the objective for tonight is that by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use should to give advice, right? To give advice. So, the agenda, the feedback, right? Feedback about imperatives and we practiced a little of the negative imperatives. So the class topic and objective presentation has been done, has been done, I'm sorry. And now we go to the step three, right? To the first page in this class. We are going to talk about should. Should, how to use it, right? Like grammarly. Okay. 
Then in the breakout rooms, we are going to practice a conversation that we have it on page 15 in our manuals. We have a written exercise on page 16. And then we are going to gather to um, prepare our practice presentation for tomorrow, okay? Because tomorrow we have the vocabulary practice. So today we're gonna start preparing it for you have it ready for tomorrow. And the last step, right, in this class will be that we have the session one-on-one -on -one ready for Carlos Roberto Aleman Prudencio. Carlos Roberto, today is your turn. Is it okay with you? Are you staying? Just teacher. Great. Just teacher, it's okay. Great. So let's talk about should. Let's talk about should. As we said, should is a modal verb, right? Should is a modal verb. Mm, modal, it's because it helps to express a different thing. For itself, it will be like mm, giving a meaning in Spanish like debe or debiera, right? Something like that, even though it's not only that. Okay, no está limitado solo a ese significado, pero más o menos por ahí en español, ok. Debe, debiera, ok, debería, right? Ok. Pero nos ayuda para expresar estas cosas que dice acá. Giving advice, it helps us to express when we want to give advice, right? When we want to give advice when we want to give a recommendation, when we want to show uh, someone that what we think is right or wrong, okay? So three uses. Tonight, we are talking about advice. Also, things that we think is right and things that we think are wrong, right? Okay, veamos estos ejemplos. Let, let's look at these examples we've got here. It's because of the picture, right? I am cold, right? I'm cold. What should I wear, right? I'm cold. What should I wear? O sea, en este caso podemos ver que no solamente es para darlo, ¿verdad? El consejo. Also is for asking for advice, right? También sirve para pedir. Should and shouldn't, in the affirmative and the negative way, we give, we provide, right? But in the um, interrogative or the questions is to ask for advice, right? So let's look at the advice that you're giving us. You should wear a sweater. You should wear a sweater. A ver, ese es un consejo de manera afirmativa, right? Another piece of advice in the negative way will be you shouldn't wear a tank top, right? A shirt without sleeves, right? Okay. Lo visualizamos por acá. Is there any question so far about should? Hey teacher, I have one. Tell me. Uh, what's the meaning of tank top? A shirt without sleeves. Like la centro, oh. right? Or, uh. Yeah, it's not only the underwear, right? It's not solamente la que va interna. But uh, puede ser que... Para la playa también, it's a tank top, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Is there any other question? Básicamente para nosotros es el centro. En el tank top. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, sí, podríamos decirlo así. Mm -hmm. Sí, una camiseta como las de centro, la que usa el, eh, bueno, Mm, sí, centro. <laughs> Yay. Mm -hmm.
Okay. No more questions? Okay, then it's your turn to see if we understand just a little of it, right? We have to use should or shouldn't in these sentences, right? What do you think is right or what do you think is wrong, all right? So let's look at the first one. Should, teacher. Should. Um, all right, good. Should, something that you should do, right? Okay. It's correct, right? It's correct, it's healthy to drink enough water every day. So we use, you should drink, right? Second one. They shouldn't eat fast food. All right, so is that wrong? Yeah, right, because it's not healthy, right? Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Entonces, veamos que esta es una contracción de should not, ¿ok? Así se contracta. Y cuando la pronunciamos, no pronunciamos la letra L. Shouldn't. Ahí tenemos que unir ese D and T. D -t, right? Shouldn't. All right. The third one. Shouldn't, too. Okay. Shouldn't. Because it's not a good behavior, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Next, what do you think? Should. 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 Yeah. Because it's not a good behavior, but we are forbidding or we are giving the negative part and stop buying, right? Stop buying is the negative part and we use should, right? Okay, what about the last one? It should. Should, right? Should. It should it's... Mm -hmm. Continue. Interesting presentation tomorrow. Very good. Yay! Yay! Hey, 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 you got it. Era un mensaje subliminal. All right. There you go. Nice. Excellent. So we should prepare an interesting presentation, even though we do it here or at work. Yay. Any presentation has to be interesting. Yeah, because we don't want people to get bored. All right. There we go. So this is the way to use should and to use shouldn't. A ver, veamos entonces la forma acá. ¿Cómo sería? We have a subject, right? We have the modal verb should and the base form of the verb or the action you want to express, right? Aquí no ponemos should to drink, right? No decimos shouldn't to eat. Mm -mm. Decimos should drink. No decimos should drinking tampoco, right? Decimos should drink, shouldn't eat, shouldn't watch, should stop. Should stop buying. Yes, should prepare. should prepare. If you see the way to um, build these sentences, it's important. The negative and the affirmative. We don't use to, we don't use ing, right? All right. Ahora, en las preguntas, como veíamos en la anterior, en las preguntas, just give me one second. In questions, we don't use another helping verb because this is the helping verb, right? I'm sorry. This is the helping verb, right? So we don't use do, we don't use does, okay? We use should as the helping verb, right? For example, if we 
uh, don't use what, where, or a question, or a question, uh, I mean, WH question, then for example, I will write one over here. Solo para dar un, un adelante. Yeah. Así, miren. What should, should I, do? I uh, yeah, aquí, should I, wear a sweater okay should i wear a sweater a sweater i'm sorry should i wear a sweater mm. entonces vemos que yo no uso un do no uso un das verdad no uso do should mm -mm. uso directamente should porque ese es el helping verb right should i wear a sweater right okay that's the the way to build these sentences sentences and this question so i will stop sharing and let's go to the manuals in the manuals we have on page 15 a conversation okay we have a conversation there Okay, and this conversation, they are using should, should, and so please um, pay attention on the way how to use these model verb, right? So Peter and Bertha, right? Peter and Bertha are talking. <clears throat> I will read it first and then um, <clears throat> I will do it slower. Bertha, do you think that our company shall improve the manufacturing process? I believe so, why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs, I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing and that is getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century, right? Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay, I will do it slower. Bertha, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century, right? Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay. Veamos cómo están utilizado, cómo han compuesto estas oraciones, okay? Using should. Let's look at the first one. We have a subject, our company, should improve. Our company should improve. Y si se fijan, aquí hay una palabra that. Yo les decía en la última clase que las what clauses no solamente son con what, también son con that. Okay, the noun clauses. Entonces, este es una noun clause. Miren, that our company should improve, right? Mm -hmm. The manufacturing process. Okay. Vamos, la siguiente frase. Um, we should do what other companies are doing. Okay. Miren, aquí hay una what clauses. Un, I'm sorry, una what clause. Y el should no va en, en, el, en la clause, ¿verdad? 
Veamos esas diferencias. No siempre va a ir en el mismo lugar. Esto ya va moviéndose, right? It's moving everywhere. So let's, está más activo el lenguaje, ¿verdad? So let's look at the next one. We should not have the same machines with the same programs. We, sería el siguiente, should be in the first, I'm sorry, in the 21st century. Okay, we should be, should be, should do, uh, should not have, should improve. Y veamos el último. We should talk. We should talk about that, right? In the, in the next meeting. All right. Is there any question so far about the vocabulary in this conversation? Questions? Yes, can you repeat the pronunciation for equipment? That one is good. Equipment. Yes. Equipment. Equipment. Usted lo hizo muy bien. Okay. Equipment. Yes. Como planto cuando dice equipo. <laughs> Eso no le he oído yo, pero ok, vamos a buscarlo. <laughs> de Bob Esponja. Yeah, yeah, I know it is sponge bald, square pants, right? Pero este no, no lo he escuchado a Plankton cuando dice así. <laughs> sí, algo chistoso, pero sí, por ahí anda. Oh, okay, okay, yes, it's equipment, equipment. But when we are speaking in a normal speed, we say, for example, getting new equipment, new, new, y ahí se va, right? New equipment, new equipment, pero prácticamente queda unido en, la, en anterior, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay, are we okay with this? So let's listen to Rosa. Rosa is going to be Bertha. And okay, let's look at, mm. I want to listen to, I am sorry, I can't see anybody here because you have your cameras off. Okay. Santos, please start. Santos, you are Peter. Okay. Yeah. Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that, and that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should all about the in the in the next meeting excellent very good very good job now we are going to the breakout rooms just to practice this conversation and also we have two questions here in the um, pair work antes de irnos antes de irnos al breakout room just let let's talk all right uh esta instrucción is not correct all right, this uh, instructions are not correct. Say if the statements, because it's not a true or false um, exercise. All right, we have to give an answer. Maybe we don't have a process of manufacturing a product, right? But maybe we have a process to do something. All right, we have a process to do something. So, no nos vamos a limitar a manufacturing process, ¿ok? De, o sea, de un producto tangible, ¿verdad? O tangible product, sino que a un proceso de su compañía. X, right? 
an X process. Ahora, and the second one, it says, what do you think about the equipment of your company? Does it need to be upgraded? Why? Upgraded significa mejorada, como improved, right? Upgraded to be better, buy new ones, right? A ver. O actualizadas también, ¿verdad? To update. Entonces, probablemente pensemos que equipment es solamente machines or machinery for industrial purposes. But no, equipment could be, for example, computers or all the office appliances, or maybe we can have, um, a ver, let's think, let's think, staplers or, um, I don't know, you can say office equipment, office equipment. For example, we use these appliances like um, electronic devices too, right? Or maybe we use what? I'm sorry? Printers, printers teacher. Printers, yes, printers, yes. Mm -hmm. Printers, photocopiers, right? And phones, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe screens or projectors are part of the equipment we use to do our job, right? So we have tools, we have equipment, we have machinery. Probablemente haya alguna máquina que ustedes utilicen dentro de su um, trabajo, ¿verdad? Si es así, ustedes describen. Si no hay machinery, pero hay tools y hay equipment, talk about that, okay? Hablemos acerca de eso. So let's go everyone to the uh, breakout room just to practice the conversation once. And then we are going to uh, talk about the two questions, right? We are going to discuss or hmm, give opinions, right? Uh, de oyentes a quienes tengo ahora porque siempre me da ese detalle a ver tenemos a Juan Juan está de oyente Abel está de oyente Henry ya estamos listos I'm ready teacher all right we are ready um, entonces solo tengo Abel I have only Abel Abel and Juan right Juan are you there are you available I think he's not all right, he's there, but he can't uh, participate at this moment. All right, entonces vamos a dejar. Yeah, all right, let's do it again.
Hello, Blanca. Hello, teacher. Sorry, I have um, okay. problems about my connection. Okay, I will send you to, let, let me look at which room I, I can send you. I okay. will send you to the room number eight, all right? Okay, teacher, thank you. Hola. In, uh, uh, no la escucho. Hola, hola. Sí. Hola. Este, a, a grupo, al grupo de WhatsApp o, al, o aquí al, al... No, al grupo de WhatsApp. De WhatsApp. Oh, va, okay. Para... Para verla. Okay. Sí. Okay. Okay, yeah. Are you there? Yes, I see. I see, estamos. I see, Inicio yo para seguir el, el, el orden de, de los géneros. Correcto, correcto. correcto. Y, y después lo, lo cambiamos. Okay. Berta, do you think that, that our company should improve the manufacturing process? Eh... Mm. I believe, I believe so. Be believe, uh, believe. I believe, I believe uh -huh. so. We do, we do you ask? He says, why do you ask? Why? Why do you ask? Why? Uh, why do you uh -huh. ask? Uh -huh. Because if we do so, we reduce, we reduce costs. Yeah. I see. I think that. Hello, Andrea. What room were you working at? Do you remember? Se acuerda en cuál sala estaba? No logró ingresar. You are muted. You are muted. The microphone, please, on. Ah, logré, en el 6, teacher, logré entrar, pero se me fue otra vez el audio. Oh. Ahorita volví a entrar de mi celular y, y creo que de aquí voy a estar entrando. Ok, ok. Gracias. Ok. process I believe so why do you why do you ask because if we do so we reduce costs I see I think that we should do that other companies doing and that is getting a new equipment I need and meet we show know that the same machine with the same programs we should be in the 20, 21st centuries. Right, maybe we should talk about, about that in the next meeting. Teacher, we have a question. Tell me. We feel that it doesn't come natural, it's a shoe. Natural, natural what? Uh, can you explain more? Cuando ya lo metemos en la oración, como que no, no. Eh, do you think that our, uh, our company should improve? Improve. improve. Uh, okay. Should. Should. At the beginning, maybe you will be 
feeling that this pronunciation, because we don't have any, this pronunciation pronunciation is kind of strange because in our uh, language, we don't have these kind of sounds, right? So uh, we don't use sh and we don't use uh, a letter that we don't pronunciate, right? So- We only use sh. <laughs> Yeah, only, yeah, this is only right. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. And then you should try to say these words. If you don't want to say it, exaggerating the pronunciation, that that do it um, softer, like shoot, right? Shoot, uh, faster shoot. and softer. Más rápido y más suave, right? You La salida. O -O -D. As uh yeah kind of yeah mm -hmm. should 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 okay. should mm -hmm. and do it shorter no más corto instead of uh emphasizing right because if we if you emphasize maybe that's what you're feeling kind of strange right okay mm -hmm. try again try again and try to do it softer and a little faster or shorter right okay mm -hmm. Ashley do you you are a peer now. Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right, maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Excellent, you see, you, you, you see, <laughs> you <laughs> see you did it better. Don't you feel it? Mm, yes. <laughs> oh yes, teacher. Like, uh, like, es que uh, como que no se siente orgánico realmente la, 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 el show. A mí me cuesta Pero... más o menos la, los últimos, las últimas dos, Dos frases. Uh -huh. we, we should be in the 21st century. Lo siento bien raro. Y el right, maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Siento que me, como que no lo pronuncio bien. Eh, but it's okay. I, I hear that you are doing it okay. I hear that you are doing it okay. And it doesn't matter if you caught it. Because we have two different um, consonants, right? Because uh, you say should talk should talk, right? Casi que quito la D y la uno con la T. Por eso tal vez sientes de should talk, right? Because should. they are similar sounds. La D y la T suenan cabal detrás de los dientes. D, T. So that's maybe should the problem. Talk. Mm -hmm. Should talk. Should talk. Should talk, should talk mm -hmm. about that in the next meeting. Yeah, but don't worry. You are doing a very good job and I don't hear that you were doing it um, robotic or not non natural you're doing it okay okay thank you solo respiro como <laughs> yes el punto. good excellent mm -hmm. thank you okay <laughs> then continue i'm going to see another group all right good thanks no problem blanca Hello. Hello, Blanca. Hello, teacher. I'm here now. Sorry. Uh, yes. Um, yo estaba viendo el, el mm, mensaje que me envió, pero fíjese que no la visualizaba a usted. No sé qué pasaba porque me decía que estaba aquí, pero yo no la visualizaba. Entonces, ¿hay sí, algún problema de la aplicación? Tengo... Cuando me lanzó al, al grupo y me intenté unir, me sacaba. Ok. ¿Sabe? No sé si era no sé si ya la actualizó usted, Zoom. Sí, pero probablemente porque ingre... la otra vez me estaba pasando porque ingresaba desde el WhatsApp. Me redirigí a Zoom. Uh -huh. En cambio, así ingresando directamente desde Zoom, pues tal vez así me permita. Ah, también, también, uh -huh. sí, porque el asunto es que yo no la visualizaba y en la anterior me la duplicaba a usted, me daba uh -huh. dos, eh, entonces 
eh, tal vez por ahí anda el asunto de que no esté actualizada la aplicación, pero si ya la actualizó, hay que ver qué es lo que está pasando. Tal vez, como dijimos, vea, desinstalarla y volverla a instalar, pero después de la clase, ¿ok? Por el momento ya casi vamos a llamar sí, a los sí. compañeros, ¿ok? Pero igual, la voy okay. a enviar. What room was it? ¿Qué grupo era? No sé. At, I, uh, if I'm not wrong, you were at room eight, all right? Okay, thank you. There you are. Great, Joe, you're doing uh, second. Uh, uh, you need uh, a real uh, this contract and uh, you ever accept uh, this contract and then uh, we need a study your financial situation for decide if you you can uh, you can uh, get it the credit or not the credit and finally okay. uh, when the decision is uh, taken uh, if uh, if uh, oh, uh, oh, if uh, uh, the bank give you the credit or not, uh, what do you think about the treatment what do you think about the treatment at your company? Um, uh, the equipment uh, we have at the company is really too new and it's in real good condition. And then I, I think I believe it's, it's good. Uh, does it need it to be upgraded? Um, always uh, and all the funds from the you ever upgrade your core? The core is the the brain. Uh, all, all the bank, all the process is with the the main uh, computer. The software, the software, the main computer of the bank. Um, why I, I I think I need to be afraid because it's uh, regulatory and, and it's necessary for uh, all the bank uh, work in always. Okay, that's right. Okay, class, I will take the attendance right now. So remember to turn your cameras on. And when I call your name, you have to say press. I don't see all of your classmates back yet.
recorded. Okay. <clears throat> Remember to turn your cameras on and say present when I call your name. I will call the roll. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present teacher. Ok, Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Claudia Yamilet Corea. Present teacher. Elenilson Aparicio de... Person, perdón. Uh, perdón. Elenilson Aparicio del... Sí. Present teacher. Ok. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Presente teacher. Good. Uh, Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. His is a hearing right now. So, hey, Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Karen. Uh, Magdiel Esau García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Thank you, Present. Okay. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Present, teacher. Okay. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present, teacher. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Present, teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present, teacher. Okay, class. We'll go to uh, finish this activity. Uh, just uh, just let me see. The group number one was um, in the group number one. We had Claudia and Ellen Nilsson. All right, Claudia and Ellen Nilsson, please role play the conversation, and then you give your opinion of the two questions. All right, I will give you the time. Just give me one second. I will share, I'm going to share the thing here. Yes. Right, uh, this one? just allow me to share it. Here it is. No me deja aquí, que pasó? Pues vamos a ver otra vez. Ver, abro, bien. Here we are. Okay, there you are, guys. Please roll the camera. Hello. You are mute, teacher. Hello. You are mute, teacher. Yes, thank you very much. Que todo estaba una cosa sobre otra de repente en mi computadora. Okay, ahora sí. Now it is all right. So please, Ellen Nilsson and Claudia. Okay. Ellen Nilsson. Okay. Okay, Claudia. Uh, Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? Uh, I believe so. Uh, we do do that. Why do you ask? Why? Uh, why? Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do 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 what other company are are doing. And that is getting. Net equipment, I mean, we should not have the same machine while the same program. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Right. Very good. Please give us your opinion. Uh, your opinions. 
about these two statements, two questions. Okay. okay uh, the first one, uh, this is the process uh, or manufacturing of uh, Juan. This is his, his process. So, and the first one is create product order. Then this send for sign. Can you hear me? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, the next is generate picking. Prepare material that is delivered to the plant. And then the medicine, the medicine is manufactured. And that's it. Okay. I think we have some steps there that maybe are a complete process, but it is okay because you showed the complete process maybe of the company, right? Okay, good. Now, what about number two? What did you talk about number two? Claudia? No les oigo muy bien, se me va la, la señal un poco. Por okay. eso no les contesto. Okay. Okay, no problem. In in my case, teacher, all our, all our equip, equipment is in optimal condition. Okay, so okay. is it cutting edge cutting edge technology? Cutting uh, edge car, uh, technology significa tecnología de punta. Yeah. All right, good. Mm -hmm. So in good conditions, maybe the best conditions, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need to upgrade the equipment. It is okay for doing the process that you do. Okay, yeah. good. Thank you very much, Elenisa. Thank you very much. Okay, let's listen to Eric. Uh, just one second, because I saw your name here, Eric. Just give me a second, I want to see your classmate. Aha, era Blanca and Carlos Roberto, right? Okay, please roll the conversation and then talk, I mean, share with us what you talk. A ver, Eric, Blanca and Carlos Alemán. You are muted, Eric. Okay. Me voy a empezar yo. Okay, ¿con quién lo va a hacer? ¿Con Carlos Roberto o con Blanca? Carlos, creo yo. Okay, Carlos, are you ready there? Yes, I'm ready, teacher. Okay, good. You may start, guys. Brenda, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what the other companies are doing. And that is? Very new e e equipment. I mean, equipment. we equipment. show no how equipment, getting new equipment. Uh, I mean, we should not have the same machine with the same programs. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I can see uh, the same programs. I'm sorry. We should be in the 21, 21st century. All right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Very good. Okay. And what did you say about number one? What was your answer? Uh, I think what in, in our case, uh, my partner work in a company uh, is, is not a manufacturer, they, they don't have a manufacturing process. And in my case, I, I work in the school, in school 
I'm sorry, uh, I don't have any process to uh, about my refactoring. Oh, right, so good. So we don't know what we Good, but yes. you have some processes in your in your company, right, or in the in your workplace. That's why what we were saying that maybe, for example, Eric, uh, um, what does your company do, Eric? What does uh, your company do? And my company does the. Eh, uh, no. Uh, we don't manufacture process. Yeah, I, it I, doesn't have. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, okay. Bien, voy a dejar hasta aquí un poquito la actividad, right? Y después vamos a platicar un poquito de esto. Solo déjenme eh, comentarles que eh, no solamente en un manufacturing process tenemos steps. En cualquier proceso tenemos steps. Hablábamos de service that we offer in our companies and that's our product, okay? Los servicios en nuestra compañía son un producto, ¿verdad? Y tienen un proceso para el público, tienen un proceso interno, hay diferentes procesos. So that's what we were talking about, all right? Eso era lo que queríamos que platicaran un poquito, ¿sí? Bien, is there any question about the activity? ¿Hay alguna pregunta todavía acerca de la actividad que acabamos de hacer? Teacher, I have a, about the word employee. The what word? Means employee. Um, en la que estaba en el texto que nos puso, en las preguntas en la última, había una palabra que no sé qué quiere decir. Employee, um, algo así. Employed? No. Podría poner el texto otra vez. All right. Bueno, las preguntas. Upgraded. 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 Esto. Ajá, esto. Okay. Upgraded means um, uh, actualizadas o mejoradas. Ah, por, okay. Ajá. Por ejemplo, when you want to upgrade something, you want to make it better. Right? You want to make it okay. better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. That's to upgrade. Also is to make yeah. it premium with the apps, right? That's upgrade. Teacher. All right. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, but if improve and upgrade means the same, uh, what's the difference? Improve and upgrade. Uh huh. Then I I didn't get it. Uh, means mean? uh, the same. Oh. Mejorar. All right. It's they are synonyms. They are synonyms, right? Improve. You can use it for example in things that you do. Upgrade is. Something, something has the qualification A, for example, then you want to go to upgrade to the next qualification, right? You, you want to go to the next level. That's upgrade, right? Go to the next level. But improve is doing better what you are doing, right? So something like that will be the difference. You got it? Teacher. So, so, so yeah. Okay, but you can use them as synonyms too. They are not really the same thing, right? Teacher, improve is a uh, dance synonymous of improvise or no. something like that. No. no, no, no. That's a complete different meaning. Improvise is that you do something that was not in the plan, right? It was not in the plan and you are making it up at the moment, right? And that's improvising. But improve is that I am, for example, my English can be improved. How? If I do exercises, if I study more, then I improve my language skill, right? Me, all right. All right? So that's the mm -hmm. difference Thanks. between those. But about the upgrade, for example, if you have Netflix for free, for example, yeah, imagine, uh, Netflix for free or any other application and you want to upgrade that, you go for the premium premium uh, uh, version, right? You go for the, pre that's upgrade, that's upgrade. To oh. get a different thing better than the one that I have, right? Okay. Yep. So you probably, uh, uh, it's like to talk about myself. 
or yourself? Mm -hmm. You use improve. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah. upgrade, uh, uh, talk about the, like you said, uh, qualities about the uh, object. Mm -hmm. You yes. upgrade. Yeah, uh, you, okay. you make it more functional, you upgrade it. Yeah, if you uh, want to go from A to level B, then you are upgrading, right? Yeah. Okay, um, tengo una pregunta geniada desde la semana pasada. Okay, Wilbur, come on. Uh, la palabra grab, que significa tomar. Uh -huh. Como la oración que estábamos viendo de grab, de atenaz, olvido la palabra. Uh -huh. Pero take también es tomar. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Tal vez me explica ahí, porque también estoy perdido. Okay, grab, for example, uh, there is another one. Hay muchas más. There, there, hay otra más que se parece mucho a grab. Por ejemplo, hold, hold, or uh, sostener, ¿verdad? Um, grab is something is right there, and then I get it, right? Then I get it, I take it. <laughs> That's the definition of grab, right? Uh, but for example, you take something, mm, yeah, you can do it with your hand. With, you can do it with another thing as you do it with the grab. Uh, there are other uses of grab, like uh, if you want to go to buy something on the way, then you grab that product, right? From And on your way, right, to your house. So you grab a means to get, take means to uh, get something to, Right, so they are kind of synonyms, right? They are kind of synonyms, yeah? All right. Okay, so I uh, can use the two words in the same activity? Mm, sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, for example, if I want uh, to grab my kid hand, right, for example. Uh, you said to your child, grab my hand, right? Grab my hand, dame la mano, yeah? Um, yeah, and um, take, uh, take my hand, es más como, take my hand, I will help you, right? Yeah, something like that. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, so let's continue with this because we want to go to the breakout rooms again and we want to prepare our presentations, right? Remember that it's only a two minutes presentation, but we want to go to the manuals. Okay, and the manuals we have uh, <clears throat> on page 16, on page 16. We have the grammar how to use should, even though we started already. And we want to complete these uh, sentences using should or shouldn't, all right? So let's do it together. And then we go to the breakout rooms to watch the video again and to prepare our presentations, all right? So let me share the screen with you with the manual on page 16. So help me everyone here to do this uh, more dynamic. Okay. Pedro, can you read please the box right here? Hi teacher. Hi Pedro, please read here. Shul is a model bird to give advice or to talk about what we time is right or wrong. Uh, structure uh, subject uh, should not bear and uh, complement. Thank you very much, Pedro. You did a good job here. All right, so the uses of should are giving advice to talk about what we think uh, there is right or wrong. All right, the structure subject plus should or should not plus the verb. The verb has to be like infinitive, right? Or the first column in the uh, verb, verbs list, plus the complement of the sentence. All right, let's read uh, these examples. A ver, Blanca, can you please read the first example? All right. 
Ooh. We should upgrade our system. Thank you very much. Hey, Sal, this other one, the next one. Hazel, this and one, please. Uh, hold employees. I'm sorry? La cinco. Uh, no, 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 here, here, in the box, in the uh, quadro. Mm -hmm. They should bring new equipment. Equipment, all right. Thank you very much, Hazel. Claudia, can you read this other one, please? The one that start with we. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, we should apply our system. Okay. Thank you very much, Claudia. No problem. Thank you. Rafael Alexander, can you please read this one? We should not continue with the same market. Excellent. Rosa, can you please read this one? Okay, teacher, this company should broad this its target. Okay, this company should broad, broad, broad. Mm -hmm. its target, target. Target. Mm -hmm. Target. All right, people. So this is the way to use should. Is there any question about the vocabulary in these sentences? What is the meaning broad? Like expand or go um more i mean farther right mm -hmm. to expand yeah or to open yes mm -hmm. okay let's complete this other activity we need to use should or shouldn't depending on the meaning right in these sentences number one what do you think should should, right. Should. Okay. Should. Should. There you are. Number two. This company shouldn't. 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 Forget. All right. Mm -hmm. Number three. We should. Uh, okay. Can you read it completely, please? We should explore explore new markets. Excellent. Number four. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Very good. Mm -hmm. Can you read the complete sentence, please? The, the machinery shouldn't be old. Okay, machinery. Machinery. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aquí, aunque okay, es una che, suena suave, ¿ok? Machinery. Y esta E prácticamente es silent. Machinery, ¿ok? Shouldn't be old. Very good. Number five, guys. Number five. Should. ¿Ok? All the employees should, uh, aquí está una I, eh, perdón, una S en vez de I. A letter S instead of the letter E. All the employees should use the machinery. All right. Is there any question so far about how to use should or shouldn't? Questions, class? Are we okay with this? Model verb? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Yes, teacher. Very good. Okay, it's 35, 9.35. So, one second. Let me go. Okay, this is the activity we're going to do right now. This is to practice, okay? This is to practice all the vocabulary we have been studying 
and unit one. Unit one is about manufacturing. And we use in a process statement or in uh, expressing processes and also a, a, not only processes, will be like ways to do things, right? We use also imperatives, all right? And also what clauses, right? What clauses, what do you need is, what they need is, what my friend did was, okay? We can use the two, I mean, the be verb in the tense that is needed. Okay, so first you have to watch the video. I hope you watched the video already. Then you have to describe the process of making glass bottles using the sequence words seen in class. What clauses and imperatives, all right? Como no habíamos visto should, no le habíamos agregado should. Pero por lo menos una su oración con should and shouldn't puede ir perfectamente, okay? Entonces, is there any question about these activity? we're going to do in the breakout rooms? Questions? No questions, all right. So we are going to do groups of, we have 20, right? Well, there are 19 of you. Plus Our Karen, teacher. right? Hello, Con, tell me. Activity is individual or the explanation is in couple. No, this is going to be a group activity. Right now we are going to the breakout room to prepare it, all right? Yeah, for tomorrow? No, tomorrow you are going to get, uh, to share, uh, divide the parts of the presentation, um, each one, right? Mm -hmm. all, right. all of you has to, to participate in two minutes. All of you, all right. okay, all, right. all of your group. Mm -hmm. Ok, vamos a hacer una cosa. Vamos a armar los grupos. Uh, creo que de cuatro es... Uh, no. Bien. Bien, voy a crear cuatro salas. Ok, voy a crear cuatro salas. No, mejor se los voy a asignar yo porque si no se van a ir todos a una sala y después... Ahí hay que estar arreglando. Vamos a ver. A ver. Solo nos quedaría Karen, que no ha venido el día de hoy, ¿verdad? Y Carlos Ernesto, ¿verdad? Carlos Ernesto ya está por acá. Ellos dos nos quedan nada más. Oh, ahí está Carlos Ernesto. Sí, ahí está. Ok. Entonces, vamos a ver. Ya los tengo creados acá. Are you guys ready? I will open all the rooms. If you have any question, please let me know. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, guys. Blanca Hello. is gone. Maybe she has problem connect. I mean, yeah, problems in her connection. Okay. Somebody have the 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 link
Saludos, Ale Nelson. Hola, Santos. ¿Cómo estamos? Aquí, todo bien. ¿Y tu home? Yeah. ¿Y tu home? Ah, ok. Yeah. No work tonight. No. This is my time off. No, oh, ok. <laughs> ¿Cuántos somos? Cuatro. Four. Y, y Blanca, ¿verdad? Que tiene problemas. Sí. Bueno. Mm -hmm. bueno, no sé si... Yes, she's having connection problems. Ya, yeah, teacher. Ok. No sé si ya vieron el video. Teacher, ¿me podría ingresar de nuevo al grupo? Hola. Hola, habla. Yes, I will try right now. I was trying to do it, but something's happening here too. So uh, just give me one second, Blanca. I'm trying to send you over there. Thank you. Okay. One second, Blanca, because it doesn't allow me to do it. One second, please. All right, now it is. Over there. Claudia. Hola, teacher. Yo no Hello. sé con quién voy. Hello, teacher. Hello, Claudia. Eh, fíjese que no la veo asignada a ningún grupo. I don't see you are assigned to any group. Fíjese que me, me sacó, me sacó sí. de la reunión y me tuve que meter otra vez. Entonces, ah, no bueno. Sé. O sea que no logró ver quiénes estaban. No. No, 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 no. De primero solo vi a, 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 no sé cómo se llama, Saúl, no sé cómo se llama el muchacho, Saúl, segundo nombre, me acuerdo, porque el primero bien raro, Magdiel. Oh. Magdiel. Ok, just give me a moment and let me check because I don't have, uh, yes, it's room two, it's room two, so I will send you to room two. There you are. Blanca se nos eh, duplicó usted otra vez. Está teniendo problemas con su aplicación de Zoom. Es que me salí. Ahorita ingresé de nuevo, pero por la aplicación. Uh -huh. Igual pero... yo me saca, no sé. Uh -huh. Pero Blanca no es que se ha conectado en otro dispositivo. No, lo que pasa es que la, ah, anteriormente... Me conectaba, o sea, me enlazaba del WhatsApp, me metía el enlace que manda uh -huh. y de ahí de una sola vez me redireccionaba Zoom. Pero ah. el problema es que cuando ingreso de esa forma, al momento de pasar a la sala de grupo, me saca. Entonces ahorita me sacó y lo que hice fue este, ingresar ya directamente desde la aplicación. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Me voy a salir y voy a cerrar todo, tal vez así, voy a volver a ingresar. Vaya, pero de una vez le digo que lo bueno sería que se vaya a configuración arriba. Cuando usted entra a la aplicación de Zoom, dice uh -huh. configuración. Ahí usted busca comprobar actualizaciones. Probablemente entró alguna hora eh, que usted no haya hecho. ¿Ok? Sí, está bien. Uh -huh. Ahorita voy a revisar eso. Ok, pero siempre usted sigue trabajando con, acuérdese, eh, por si va a estar en contacto después, sería con Rafael Alexander, uh -huh. con, uh, permítame, ahorita le digo quiénes son, Ellen Nilsson, Carlos Santos. Roberto y Santos. Este, y ahora yo... se sacó, si quiere intente unirme, tal vez ahora si me enlaza. Ok, probemos, probemos. Okay. Igual yo, ¿verdad? En el eh, eh, mm, usted en el, perdón, me equivoqué, creo yo, ¿verdad? 
Mandé. No, Claudia. Claudia, ¿Sí? usted, room two. Ajá. Yes, room two. Yes. Claudia, you. hagamos una cosa. En vez de que yo ¿Sí? la mande, en vez de que yo la mande, vaya abajo donde dice sala de grupos pequeños para ver si no es que está allí la invitación y por eso nos, la está saque y saque. Um, de... Ajá, abajo donde dice salas de grupos pequeños. Si no lo mira así nomás, en los tres puntitos tiene que estar. Configuración de reunión. Eh, conectar chat. Ajá. Eh, no. Chat. No, en los tres puntitos solo eso le sale. Sí, solo eso me sale. Tiché. Y no le sale ninguno de sala de grupos pequeños. No. No, 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 no. no. Ok, voy a intentar ah, sí, entonces. Sí, aquí está. No, okay. ya lo vi arriba, lo tengo. Ah, vaya. Entonces ahí busque a ver si tiene alguna invitación pendiente de, de ingresar. No le aparece como en rojo. Ahí está. There you are. Okay, don't touch the volume with your hands. No lo podemos transmitir aquí, ¿verdad? Are you watching it uh, individually? No. Okay. Ah, yeah. oh, no, no. mm -hmm. But you're still watching the video. Are you still watching the video? No. Yes, no, teacher. Está viendo el video. Uh, all right. Maybe, maybe if we individually look at the video in YouTube. Mm -hmm. Individually, yes.
entre... Ahí los... pegué los primeros tres. Population. Vamos a bajar a este, vamos a crear lo siguiente, que es el stick 2, que es uh, step 2. Ah, ok. Matching and mixing. Matching and mixing. Vamos a crear la otra. En el caso uno es como la preparación de la materia prima, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. La preparación de la materia prima. Está largo ya, pues sí, ya, ya, ya lo encuentro. Compa. Experienced QC can detect any flaw at the first sight. Ajá, y sí, por eso yo se los envié desde antes de que, de que entráramos al fin de semana, ¿verdad? Por eso les envié el video, les envié las indicaciones, les avisé que íbamos a hacer esto. 
that is why, because it takes some time to put all the pieces together para poner todas las piezas juntas, right? Okay, I hope you are going to do a good job in this. Y eh, no se trata de que vamos a decir las cosas textualmente, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir las cosas usando el vocabulario de la clase. Using the class vocabulary, using the sequence words, what clauses, imperatives, and now you can add a should or shouldn't sentence. All right? Estamos de acuerdo? It's only two minutes presentation. It's a very short presentation, all right? Así que no es de complicarnos la vida, sino que es de que practiquemos. Pongámosle corazón, alma y vida, ¿verdad? Y sudor. <ríe> Para que nos salga bien bonito. Vamos a ver. Eh, ya son las 10 en punto, pero ¿alguien quiere comentar algo? Teacher, tenemos una pregunta. Chame. Que alguien decía que cada uno íbamos a exponer dos minutos. Oh, no, 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 no. no. En los dos minutos, todos van a exponer un pedacito, right? A little piece of it. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. sí. no. Ajá, es una presentación pequeña, ok? Solo es presentar el proceso de glass bottles. How do they make, how they make the glass bottles, All right? Ok, teacher. Mm -hmm. Bien, espero que no estén asustados. Los veo con caritas así como... Eh, ¿Estamos todo bien? Yes. Okay. Yes. Bien. No more questions? <laughs> yeah, Juan Francisco. That's what I'm seeing right now. Me lo imagino nada más a Juan. Así. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys. Just uh, allow me to call the roll. Remember, you have to turn your cameras on and you have to say present for this to count, right? Mañana tenemos nuestro vocabulary practice. Entonces, ahí es donde vamos a hacer esta actividad de la presentación, okay? Bien. What's es su creatividad? Andrea, sí, Sophie, tell me. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Eh, la presentación que, que usted mencionaba era referente a, a esta fabricación de botellas. Eh, la semana pasada habló sobre presentación, pero no, no recuerdo si era referente a lo que en nuestras actividades, o sea, laborales, o se refería a esta, de la fabricación de las botellas. No, este, este proceso, por eso se los mandé ahí en el WhatsApp. Ah, Ajá, ah, okay, les okay. mandé ahí el slide en donde estaba descrita la la actividad y les mandé el video y les puse watch this video y vamos a trabajar en group en the groups activity in the class uh, as class work All right como trabajo okay. de clase okay okay va thank you okay thank you. good Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez present teacher Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez present teacher Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Elenilson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry, ok, Hazel. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Presente teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present Ra teacher. Ok, Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. Okay. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Present teacher. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. 
José Adelis Aguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, then remember to do your homework and um, we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. A sí, ver, tomorrow. le toca ahora a Carlos tomorrow. Alemán, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes, teacher. No, no se me vayan a decir, see you tomorrow, teacher. No, see you tomorrow, teacher, with a presentation, all right? Yes, teacher, we can do it. We can do it, all right? <laughs> this is a challenge, hey. I see, right? <laughs> okay, I hope everybody is in the same tone as the teacher, all right? Okay, Carlos Alemán, are you ready? Se me fue Carlos Alemán? Yes, sir. No, okay. no, I'm here, yes, I do. Okay. Have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. See you. All right, Carlos. Here we are. Es que parece que es un... Como un interrogatorio, pero... No, no, it's not that. It's not that. How are you doing? I'm, I'm fine, actually. Um, I'm in, in, middle, in the middle of the class. I was... Do the homework. Oh, okay. Which homework? What the homework uh, in, the, in the platform. Oh, okay. What number? Yeah. Number four. Today is four, okay? Oh, yes. Yeah. Activity number four. Yes. Homework two. Yeah. Activity number four. Um, mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, what, what's easy? Because you only agree uh, should or shouldn't. Yes. Only should or shouldn't. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. The um the in, in my case the, the the most difficult was um the homework number two. Homework number two, all right. It was about the I uh, mean the what classes, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. because um I'm in I I'm confused when I use what you need, what my friend need did. Uh, mm -hmm. what I will do and what I'm saying is. Oh, okay, okay. Even though you can use any, all right, you can use any what clause. I mean, depending on what you really want to say. Mm, not necessarily you are going to use those, but yeah, those examples were kind of um, challenging, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, in, in just give me dice, todo caso. Uh -huh. in this case, uh, in this case, uh, the is uh, mm -hmm. agree mm -hmm. the, um, dependent depend of the sentence form. Yeah, it depends on the sentence because of the meaning of it. Acordémonos que las what clauses, Carlos, um, are dependent, son dependientes de otra. By themselves, they are not, they have no meaning. Por ellas mismas no tienen significado. O sea, no, no completan uh, la idea, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, we need a complete idea with both clauses together. So if we had the statement, for example, on in number one, it said people yes. don't buy new products because they can't. Hasta ahí es un statement, ¿verdad? One statement. Now, if we want to explain or say this like in, a, in an expanded way, I mean, explaining more, then we use that. What you need or what, right? You use a noun clause, a noun clause. All right, to make your point more important, okay? To make your point more important. That's one of the uses of the noun classes. So if uh, the 
veamos en la primera oración que tenemos ahí, which one is the subject? The Number subject one. In in number one. Okay, people. Yes, people. So we could say no one. I mean, si ponemos you need, no, no tiene sentido. There is no demand, ¿verdad? What you ajá, need, ajá. there no tiene sentido. Entonces, tenemos que completar el sentido de there is no demand, pero que haga el match con people. That it agrees, como usted me dice, with people. Or with the products, right? Pero en este caso sería with people. Entonces, what my friend did, there is no demand, no tiene sentido tampoco. It doesn't make sense. Veamos, what I would do, what I would do, there is no demand. No tiene sentido tampoco porque no encaja una con la otra, ¿verdad? Ahora, is, there is no demand es como un, una afirmación, como un statement, right? Entonces oh, yeah. podemos decir, what I'm saying is, porque es un statement. Lo que yo digo es que no hay demanda, right? What I'm saying is, there is no demand. Entonces lo que hay que ver también es el sujeto, ¿verdad? El sujeto que tiene en la primera oración que tiene ahí para poder ubicarse un poquito en el significado, ¿ok? Esto es de okay. significado, más que todo, ¿verdad? Wow. This is about the meaning of the complete idea, ¿ok? No tiene sentido una sola, tiene que ir con la otra. Ok, tiene que ir con lo que la completa. Ok. Y esto podríamos verlo como un, eh, la, la second sentence puede ser como un comentario. En este caso, sí. En this case, yes, it is. Uh -huh. Like uh, completing the idea, right? Uh -huh. wow. Or emphasizing or making it more important. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. So if we see, uh, well, that was number one, right? So in number two, it says many people want to start their own business. Punto, ¿verdad? Esa es la idea completa que nos da. Ahora, vamos a desglosar otra idea, right? Entonces, veamos, is last, lots of information, is lots of information. Yeah, if many people want to start their own business, mm-hmm. What you need, or what my friend did, or what I will do, or what I'm saying. What you need. Okay, what you need is lots of information. Even though many people want to do it, so what you need is lots of information. Eso es como, mira, un montón de gente que quiere empezar su negocio, ¿verdad? Pero lo que vos necesitas, ah, eso es que tenés que... Conseguir bastante información, ¿verdad? That's the idea here. A ver, number three. My best friend. Ahí ya nos dice el sujeto, ¿verdad? My yes. best friend. Entonces el otro sujeto va a ser my friend, ¿verdad? Yes. My best friend just opened his own shop. Ajá. Esta es la acción que el friend hizo, right? So what my <laughs> friend did... Was, right? There you are. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ahora sí, ya le agarró un poquito más. Sí, ahora sí. Okay. Ya, no, no, no había entendido realmente eso. Mm -hmm. Siempre fijémonos, en, por, este porque es un ejercicio, ¿verdad? En, el, en este ejercicio le dan la primera oración como ubicándolo en, el, en la tesis o en el contexto, ¿verdad? Entonces... De ahí para allá, el sujeto de la siguiente oración está relacionado con lo que dijeron en la oración anterior. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, acá, el sujeto es I don't, I es el sujeto, don't know es el, la acción, ¿verdad? Where she has to start. She no es, aquí en este caso, she es solamente una parte dentro del complemento, pero ella en realidad no tiene... Acción, ¿verdad? ¿Quién tiene la acción? Sí. I. I. Ok. Entonces, I don't know where she has to start. What I would do, ok. 
What I will do. Aquí le falta es a, a, la, a la oración. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Aquí le falta. Uh -huh. Entonces, what I will do is promote the products. All right. Okay. Hoy sí, más o menos, ¿verdad? Mejor, un poquito mejor. Es que a veces... Eh, nice, um, pero... uh -huh, a veces eh, no es bueno traducir, ¿verdad? Eh, lo mejor es no traducir. Lo mejor es que cuando traducimos, traducimos una palabra para que nos abra la luz de toda la idea. Eso es lo mejor, Carlos, ¿ok? Yes. Porque si me pongo a traducirlo todo, yo ya perdemos el... Ahí nos pierde el sentido muchas veces, ¿verdad? Pero hasta aquí creo que vamos bien, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Do you have any other question? No, teacher, no, I don't. Don't. All right. You don't have. All right. Do you want to practice anything else? Uh, that is enough. Así se dice, ¿verdad? Enough. Yes. That, <laughs> ajá. Oh, o, okay. o sabe cómo, Carlos, también para decir, uh, bueno, eso es todo. That's it. All right. That's it. Uh -huh. That's decir, it. Yeah, that's it. Eso es todo. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. okay. That's it, teacher. Right? Uh -huh. Okay, then, Carlos Roberto, I hope you are, I mean, you will enjoy your, uh, your activity. Eso estaba viendo que los chicos se quedaron así como, eh, ¿qué fue esto? ¿Verdad? Así los vi salir de la reunión, pero usted va bien chévere, ¿verdad? Ah. O sea, la, la, la última. Ajá. Ajá. Pero usted va chévere, ¿verdad, Carlos? Realmente yo, o sea, les, les soy sincero, no había entendido. O sea, yo dije, ah, pues un video, qué bonito. Dije, mira. Pero dije, así, así como material para, 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 porque veo que complementa material en, en, el, en el chat. Ajá. Y yo, ah, es interesante. Pues sí, también lo escuché y todo lo demás. Y ya aquí, o sea, en realidad, además de a aprender más inglés es muy interesante el proceso dije yo porque ajá, pues, ajá. no lo conocía realmente pero ya oh, cuando okay. me quedé y ya cuando dijo mire para presentar yo ah <risa> sí, es de que lo siento <risa> okay, es que usted no estuvo el viernes o sí 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 estuve ah, pero, pero okay. o sea no no quizás no 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 sé no lo pasó punto, por ah, alto. O sea, el video ah sí en realidad no 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 lo vi okay. yo dije ah el video que eh, lo vi verdad y todo lo demás pero ajá. no quizás no se me fue ajá Oh, ok, bueno, pero qué bueno que ahí les quedó, ¿verdad? El video y les queda ahí también la, el, el lineamiento de, de lo que deben presentar. No tiene que ser algo largo, Carlos, ¿ok? Puede ser oración por oración, ¿verdad? Y ya, para dos minutos, definiendo el proceso, describing the process, how uh, y, y, to make last bottles. Y, and we can use the, the steps, the nine steps, yes. I, I think. Yes, of course. Of course, you can okay. use them. That's why I sent the video, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. For you to take the information from the video and you are going to tell the process according to the video, what you saw in the video. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Carlos. If you have any question, please don't hesitate and tell me uh, through the WhatsApp group, all right? Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, then see you tomorrow, Carlos. Have a very good night. See you night. tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye.